to solve 5 minus 3x equals 13. We must get the x's to one side, the left normally, and the numbers to the other side. Now then, we have a plus 5 and a minus 3x. So, if we subtract 5 from both sides, we end up with minus 3 lots of x equals 8. The 5 and the minus 5 have cancelled out. 13 take away 5 is 8. If we then divide by the minus 3, we get x equals 8 divided by minus 3. And it is generally the case that we write this solution as minus 8 thirds. We will now extend this idea to equations involving brackets. The general rule is to expand the bracket first. You must see the 5 at the start as a separate term in its own right. Do not do 5 take away 4 to begin with. No. We leave the 5 in place, and then minus 4 lots of 2x is minus 8x. Then be very careful. Minus 4 times minus 3 goes to plus 12, and that still equals 4. Now, on the left-hand side, we have a 5, a minus 8, and a 12. Be very careful to see what sign goes in what object. We have a 5 and a 12. That makes a 17. We have a minus 8x. And that must equal 4 still. So 5 plus 12 is plus 17. There always was a minus 8x there. This equals 4. So we have a plus 17 now on the left hand side. Let us subtract 17 from both sides. So we're left with a minus 8x. The 17 is cancelled out. But 4 take away 17. We know that to be minus 30. And then to finish off with, there's a minus 8 before the x, so we divide by minus 8. So x equals minus 13 divided by minus 8. And in this situation, where there are two negatives, they both cancel out, and x is plus 13 over 8. And that is the solution to that particular equation.